Like it's actually a really cool thing because all three tongues and mouths are like doing different shit on your dick and balls. And so it's like this experience of lots of sensations yeah. happening. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I am here with my wingwoman out in Brazil. We had a very interesting experience last night. We had a foursome, me, her, there's another chick asleep in my bed, another chick had to go to work. So it was me and three chicks, and we are like coming off the, the tail end of that. I got a little bit of sleep this time. But we wanted to walk through the logistics of how that happened. Okay, I get a lot of clients that say, oh, it's my dream goal and game to have a threesome. And one of my clients is moving out here to Brazil. That's like his main goal, even though he's been with over 100 girls already. Okay, so her and I have had five different threesomes in the past, or five different girls, okay? More, we've repeated with some of the girls. And there's another video which I'll link at the end, which goes over our game plan for how to just get one in general. I wanna walk through how we set up this foursome. It's not actually that hard. There's just some little key things you need to do. Okay, before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. Um, press the notification bell for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. All right, so she came over. We're at dinner. We had already had threesomes. We need like fucking code names for everyone now. Yeah. <laughs> So girl A, <laughs> no, girl A, okay. So, and then if she sees this, she'll be like, I'm girl A, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you would be like when you saw these videos. Basically, there's one girl, okay, who I had been seeing for a while, and then the other girl who was her friend, okay? And we had had a threesome before with both of them separately, okay? So we had had a threesome a couple times, I think, I think twice, with this girl over here, and then we had had it once with this girl over here. Okay, and so though in my mind I'm thinking, it's almost like we have a threesome rotation now, um, multiple. So I'm thinking in my mind, and there's other girls too, like I'm warming, and I'll go over to the process of how I'm warming up other girl, girls to be involved in this. And we actually run into, ran into one of the girls I was warming up. Mm. We ran into her randomly at dinner, and she had, <laughs> so I'll, I'll go over that detail. All you need to do is just like set up the logistics, okay? Um, so like we've had threesomes independently with each one, okay? So they're both, and it was a fun experience, so they're both open to doing that again, okay? I was like, hey, let's invite her over, right? And then I was like, oh, we should invite her over too because she's been asking like, when can we all do that again? So I'm like, just invite both of them. She's like, really, just both? And she's like, well, that girl um, has never My met. Friend. Yeah, her friend has never met the other one. And she's like, that might, you know, she might be not okay with that or whatever. So I told this one, who we know a lot better, or I, I know a lot better, I'm like, just come over, it's gonna be the three of us and we're gonna invite this fourth girl. And she's like, okay, like, that sounds cool, like I've never done a foursome. This girl was her first threesome of her life when she did it with us. We had two together and then I did another one with her on my own. But this, so this other girl here, <laughs> I'm like so glad you're wearing a mask now. We had to do the facial blurs, like you would move your hand and then like the blur would like follow your hand and your face. Thanks, coronavirus. <laughs> Thank you, coronavirus. <laughs> Should be like the, the beginning of the video and everybody will press dislike. But no, actually to that point, really quick at breaking the story, is that a lot of guys are saying in the forums or like people email me or I see in the comments, like, so we can't get laid now because of social distancing and because of quarantines, because of coronavirus. We just need to wait until all this shit is over. No, quite the contrary. I was up fucking as the sunrise is coming up in a penthouse in Brazil with three lovely Brazilians <laughs> who were cooking breakfast this morning. It's, it's just a super cool, some guys are like, well, this is just a Brazil thing. No, that, that's what guys say, like, no matter what place I'm at. They're like, well, it's, it must be just because of that thing, even if it's like a city in the US. Yeah. Well, my city isn't like that. No, it's, it's almost always your game. It's pretty windy out here. I think the camera's like bobbing up and down. All right, so, yeah. so I'm like, okay, let's hit them both up. So she hits them both up and I kind of tell her, she knows general like good text anyways, but I tell her like just little logistical key points and frames. So like when we were asking this chick, um, we just said like, hey, wanna we want to yeah, hang out with you, come over later. And the girl's like, hmm, I'm not sure. She was like on the fence. And then she's like, it'll be cool, we'll do this and this. What time can we call the Uber for you? And that's just like a frame setting question. You're assuming you already have a yes, all right? And then the girl was like, well, around this time maybe. And then we check back in. And so this other girl arrived sooner. So her and I were hooking up. Then this girl arrived. Then the three of us were having a threesome. Then we called an Uber for this girl. She came over. We had a foursome for maybe like four hours. Four hours. And then uh, this chick went to work because she had a meeting in the morning. I got. I had to like walk her down to her Uber. It's, it's really cool because like I'm treating. I'll go into how I'm treating all these girls really nice as well. Um, without being a pussy, there's like a video I'm gonna re-release about how to not be a pussy, which is also very, very critical to your success. And lots of the game tactics and techniques will not work if you are indeed a pussy. We were talking about that earlier. She's like, <laughs> I was saying how I have like a lot of 
like nice guy clients that just want like one average girl as a girlfriend. And for me, that there's like a 12 year rotation, I'm turning down a lot of that shit to hang out with the, the main ones that I like the most. It's like feast and famine. But she was like, oh, aren't you glad you're not a nice guy anymore? But I used to be like the big nice guy and girls think they want this like super nice, sweet guy or whatever, but that's the guy that they're gonna cheat on. That's the guy they're gonna lose respect for. That's the guy that they're gonna lose attraction for. Unfortunately, that's just how it works. That doesn't mean go around and be an asshole, but it means carry yourself in a way that these girls are having a good time in your life. And you, and you can still treat them nice, but there's like a very fine line between being a pushover, super nice guy pussy, and being a man, whatever. Like, I'll still call them out in front of each other if they pull any kind of shit. Okay, so then she went to work, and then it turned into a threesome with How me, her. Four some fall, fell into your lap. <laughs> fell into my lap, yeah. Well, we had to like pull some strings. Okay, so then that turned into a threesome with this chick, and then this chick ended up going to the shower, and then I finished with her, so it was like, it was like one-on-one, -on -one, threesome A, foursome, threesome B, back to one-on-one, -on -one, a beautiful circle. And now the, the one from here is asleep in the bed. And we were trying to get the one back over after she did her meeting and shit, but she's like sleeping in her house. But yeah, that was like, like pretty much it. This one came in kind of blind, not knowing that this girl would be here, thinking it would just totally. be us three. Yeah. And then we had to like warm her up to it, and then for a while, just the three of us working out. I was up. actually kind of afraid of like inviting her and not telling her about the girl. Yeah, but see, I was curious to know how, it was, how she reacted. I knew, you have to like put, make minor adjustments here. So I knew this girl like probably would be a little bit shy because she hadn't met this girl yet. And she was also on the fence about coming in the first place because she was like, oh, I have this family stuff and whatever. And she so, was saying she does, she didn't want the, the threesome. Yeah, Before originally, yeah. yeah. But then so. she ended up having threesome, then ended up having four. Yeah, because she was dealing with this family stuff, and she's like, oh, I've been stressed. But get the foot in the door, and then she sees we're all having fun, okay, and then boom. In terms of setting it up, I, like I said, I'll link the threesome on it at the end, where I go over how we're pulling girls from, from nightclubs and from daytime environments. And in this particular, oh, and what, what was cool, okay, so the, here's this other element at dinner. We run into this other girl who I'd been setting up a threesome with this girl over here. It's best to just refer to them by, like, spatial location. <laughs> because we haven't even like given a name, a fake name, like Derek Moneyberg. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> she knows that whole story. So we had this one I was setting up with a different rotation girl, okay? And that was like all set up. We were gonna try that a different day. And so we run into this, like yet another party here that was set up with this girl over here. She's by herself working on a laptop at a coffee shop that we're at, okay? Where we were eating and um, we go up and start talking. I'm just like friendly. And this, this coffee shop has seen me and there are like a million different girls. Who is this motherfucker? That happens in like every city though. Like they're always like wondering if I'm some kind of actor or some kind of, they're always confused. But the, <laughs> there'll be like two, three girls in a day sometimes at those places. She comes in and introduces and then this girl's like, hey, is that the girl like we're supposed to meet? I'm like, no, it's a different girl. She's like, how many girls are you dating? And I was like, oh no, like she's part of the same friend group. Cause I told her that this girl over here that we we're gonna have a threesome with was just curious to try out something with another girl and I told her that I wasn't even seeing that girl so I was like maintaining the I'm just seeing you thing yeah. kind of but she knows like deep down that's not what's going on. Anyways, I, we were tempted to try to bring her in as like a fifth girl or no, that would have been the fourth girl, fifth person and since it was already set with her, bring her in and be like, oh, by the way, these other two girls are here. And then just work that out. But I didn't want to, that, that might be something for the, for the future. Exactly, like that would have been too much, that would have maybe blown the whole thing to, because this yeah. one was already not a sure thing. Like if this one and this one were, would, now these two are like, we've all like melded. Now we can like add to the group. So it's like you can keep asking, in, like new rotation girls, like, do you think this girl's pretty? Do you think this girl's pretty? Oh yeah, like, we're all gonna be hanging out. And then shit just kind of happens, right? You're not like, hey, come at this time, like, we're all gonna be fucking, like, make sure you bring fucking vibrators and lube and all this. It's not like that formal. It's just kind of like bringing the parties together and like people are open enough where they've done shit with each other in the past. Like, it was her and I, then her and I and her, and her and I and her, now, her, now all us four, and then that other girl lives not too far by walk. So like, it's possible for her to come in. And also it's not like do or die, like, hey, like, do you want to come like hang out with me and these three girls? And if she's like, no, that's weird or whatever, it's not like I can't see her anymore. It's like, oh, well, you know, we were all just gonna hang out, whatever. Kind of in summary, like th this stuff isn't that hard to do. It's just a matter of finding like bisexual girls that are cool and then like setting the logistics and setting the frame so that things actually go down and happen. And at the same time, you're making sure everyone's comfortable. All right, now, 
Did you have stuff? I'm like fucking hogging the conversation here. We couldn't hold the mic because there's so much fucking wind. Yeah, and I have this thing in my face. So. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Speaking of in your face, at one point I was like, I was laying on my back and like, who was in the front? Was it you in the front? I think it was me. Yeah, I think it was her in the front. Yeah, it was me. And then there and was two on the sides and they were like all like triple kissing and licking different sides of my dick. I've had a couple foursomes in the past. This is like my third foursome. Those other two, I was like fairly drunk. I don't drink anymore. So like those other two, I was like pretty fucked up. And I don't even remember bits and pieces of it. So this was cool to like actually remember everything and fucking... Um, Lots of tongues on your, your dick. Yeah, like it's actually a really cool thing because all three tongues and mouths are like doing different shit on your dick and balls. And so it's like this experience of lots of sensations yeah. happening. It's like a nice piece and, and we're in like this nice penthouse with a beautiful view and we had candles and we were playing like just kind of like this like chill electronic music and like it's just cool. It's like this is like where I want to be in life. Like this is this is probably the happiest point I've been in my life. Alcohol was really causing a lot of problems for me before I'll, I'll be honest and I also was like you know I used to, like, back in the day when I was, like, doing night game hardcore, I would, like, sacrifice hang out doing cool shit with rotation girls sometimes to, like, go parade around the club for five hours. Patrol is the word I used to say, because you're just, like, going around mass approaching strangers. It's not, it's not like these days I, like, slowed my count way down. Like, there's, it's still up to 1,244 at the time of this video. Like, it's so funny, because new people to my channel, they see that number now. I've walked her through, like, the whole math and progression of it and everything. Um, and the interns on my team, I'm like, oh, they're like, ask question. I'm like, oh yeah, I had a breakthrough around 130 count. I look at my old field report thread and it was like 126 girls. I like base different points in my life based on like what lay count I was at in terms of like tying it to key events, <laughs> which probably sounds crazy to you. But um, I don't know, it's just, it's cool. Like everything, I'm gonna probably stay out here in Brazil for a long time, like everything's just cool. Um, but yeah, in terms of being like polite and all that stuff, I just remember, like, so we all ordered a pizza at, like, 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> Three fucking naked Brazilians walk out eating pizza. I wanted to, like, take a picture and put hashtag quarantine 2020. Would be a um, nice picture. Because <laughs> guys are like, oh, we can't get laid during uh, social distancing. I will, I will do a, a shameless self-promotion just because the results have been so fucking crazy. Coronapickup.com. It's under 100 bucks. It gives my whole system for how to get laid during coronavirus. But Corona is just a small piece of it. It's basically my online game on steroids. Like, all my online stuff maxed out and optimized. Okay, it's, it's a very recent product. I made it about a month ago, month, month and a half, two months ago. Um, and that includes a free call with me. Okay, for those of you watching, there was hundreds of people that bought that. So I'm still making my way around. You will be getting an uh, email with a calendar booking for my interns. Um, and you get a free month to my uh, Mastermind Mentorship Group, all right, where I give four Facebook Lives a month, once every week, and I answer all the questions 24-7 in the group. Um, but coronapickup.com, if you're interested in that, the results for myself and my, my clients, we've still been getting laid like crazy. There's just a different strategy. The guys are still messaging me like, oh, so it's way harder now, right? Or you can't get laid now, right? No, you just have to adapt accordingly, and there's different rules now, and there's different things that have different strengths. There's not a lot of places to go. Yeah, the so... nightclubs are closed. You just have to adapt. Like. Um, this strategy that I, that I lay out in that product is very heavily centered on online game. Okay, so just real quick on like the being polite stuff. So like they're eating pizza, I'm like making sure everyone has like fucking napkins and like drinks, like it's like a little pizza party for kids or some shit. <laughs> Even though it's like three hot naked Brazilian chicks. And then uh, just little simple things. Walking the girl downstairs, like there's no elevator in this fucking building, it's a penthouse. Walking the girl downstairs at like five in the morning to get Uber to work. Like one of the girls was like cold at the end of the night, like need another blanket when she's sleeping over. Like. Just little, little stupid shit like that, um, but it, it goes a long way. Like they're like cooking breakfast together in the morning. But just like little, little shit like that, right? Like noticing when a fucking it's like stupid, but noticing like when a girl's running low on beer, like or if someone's like uncomfortable about anything, just being like, hey, like are you cool? Like everyone just being it sounds like all like oh hippie hippie or some shit, but it's like well, just paying attention to the yeah. girl you're with, being nice. Yeah. There's no reason to be a jerk. Yeah, so like, what's cool is like, you can still treat the girls well and like, everyone's like having a really cool time and being like respectful and stuff like that. Like during like a threesome or foursome, like try to pay like somewhat equal attention to everyone. Don't just 
go in on the new girl or <laughs> that was like a rookie mistake I made like back in the day when I was first doing threesomes we bring in a new girl and I'd like focus on her most of the time and then the girl you're with gets pissed she's like what the fuck like yeah, you, didn't pay that, that's not cool. you didn't pay much attention to me but that happens to most guys because they're like oh here's this new girl like, like why would I pay attention to the girl I'm always with um is there any other thoughts uh, no yeah uh, I just wanted to mention that we got three phone numbers Oh yeah, yeah. I'm glad you yeah, mentioned today. that. Yeah. yeah. So she, like, I've been showing her like basics of cold approach stuff at the coffee shop. She approached a blonde chick with fake tits, got her info and her friend's info, and then at the pharmacy, um, we were like picking up shampoo, and she fucking got the pharmacist number. <laughs> and it was funny because the pharmacist had a boyfriend, but she got her number anyways. And she's like, we could still try. Uh, I just put out a video like three days ago about like almost being killed by a Hooters my, uh, boyfriend. A barbecue. Yeah, I mean, we probably honestly yeah. won't close that one, but um, it's just like a low probability, usually waste of time. But what's cool is we can still keep bringing in these other girls, and she's down to do cold approach together. And I've got her kind of in the mode where when we're out and we see a pretty girl, she'll go approach. And then we kind of have a whole routine about how we set it up for the girl to come back. Um, and I'm going to put in a jacuzzi here in this penthouse, and so that's going to be an easy, you know, sell to the yeah. girls to come back after that. Here's oh, and it was really cool, like in the original threesome, this is one of my favorite parts, when you two are both, like when you have both girls doggy style in front of you and you're like fingering both of them, but it's uh -huh. like just four ass cheeks, like oh, and you guys <laughs> both have nice asses, so it's just like popped up in the air, and then you're just like taking turns fucking each one doggy style while they make out in the front, and there's all kinds of cool shit you can do during a threesome that you can't do one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, that about does it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not already. Uh, like and share. And we are about to make another video on how to unhook a bra, okay? Because that is another matter of contention for a lot of guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice week, and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.